Hello everybody, welcome to Kids Gaming, I'm your host Kids, sit back at it again with some more part. We're playing the Amazing Mod, Awakening of the Rebellion, playing the Amazing Sun Mod, Awakening of the Independences. What am I doing? I have no clue. I'm completely lost. Right. We're trying to take Telos, which requires us to be able to match an H5 Juggernaut in a champion speeder company. I'm not too concerned about this because it is just defense troopers. Also, for this fleet, I desperately need an acclimator. But I think those are 4,000, yeah. So I, I have to wait before I can get an acclimator. Because acclimators, because their arcs, make excellent scout ships. Um, first of all, move, please. Thank you. Huh. What do I have here? Where, where do I have here? I have... Hello? <laughs> I, I, uh... I did have juggernauts. Some, somewhere. <laughs> did I get them confused up here? No. Where did my juggernauts go? I had a... I definitely had a juggernaut. Why are you way over here? <laughs> I, no. Please, get over here, desperately. Thank you. Are you really gonna go there and then not go- That's so messed up, why would you do that? Okay. Um. Let's pause. Let's have a looky Lou. Now, Tabis. Tabis, are you worth keeping? I don't think you are, because in the end, we can't hold on to this world indefinitely. And we could really use the money that we could be taken from selling these. But on the other news, I could really dig in. Hmm. I don't know. Well, it depends. How defensible is this area? So if I do this, I get... Don't I? Where's my heavy weapon? Oh, this is the heavy weapon. See, we only have two squads of infantry, unfortunately. That one could be here because it can move fairly quickly. I can secure this whole area relatively quickly. Especially here because it says bunkers plus here. This also has bunkers. I can move this to like here. And that could cover everything this way and that way. Plus the juggernaut just gives us excellent defense. But then this is kind of just exposed. So I actually think a decent amount of troops should go here so they can go back here and get some defenses here. And I think I'm gonna hold on to it. But I am gonna sell this because God is that use hello hello? There we go. Because God is this useless here. Okay, that gives us three thousand. This already has tax action offices. You do not have a taxation office, nor do you have room for a taxation office. You do have room for a taxation office, so we're going to put you there. Perfect. Okay. Um. That's not a good ship to come out of hyperspace. For right now, it's going to have to be the Venator still. And I'm going to move... Ah, a decent number, or, yeah, let's skip out on the birds, leave that here for defense, bring some heavy weapon platoons with us, okay, then move this here, I'm really annoyed that they're just gonna come right here, even though, yeah, yeah whatever, I'm not upset about it, I'm not salty <laughs> that I made a dumb decision. <laughs> Okay, you clear you know, effect on oh, interesting. You want nothing? I instinctively click those. I gotta stop doing that because there is no out? missions for us, at least not yet. What was that? Oh, it was just you. Okay, don't spook me like that, please. I thought for some reason a fleet showed up there in that sector because it's relatively undefended. <laughs> 
Okay. Um. Let's hit the ground with some heavy troops. Telos. That's where we're trying to fight. Okay. Hit the ground with some of this. Uh huh. Black. There we go. Dear God, that was loud. All right, let's get this battle started. All right, let's get this battle started. Yes. Okay, here, we have the credits. Just immediately go. Also, Ready. all of you, don't do that. Immediately get this because that's where enemies will land, and that's just a good thing to have. Also, uh. Let's test out the flamethrowers. Right also, I just love the fact that these guys have shields. That is so cool to me. Five Rylet shields take cover, decrease defenses, but decrease movement. Primary stun blaster, right? Stun blaster. And your health is 15. Is that because of your... What does this shield actually do for you? Ready to roll. Or is that just a somehow blast? I don't know. I don't know how it works. Okay, I get to here. Bring in here. Let's bring out some of these troops. Not bring out you. Let's bring out troops that can move relatively quickly. Not that you can move relatively quickly, but... And then the rest? We'll bring out the infantry. I actually see this. Which is interesting. Get a... Anti-infantry turret. Alright, I'm gonna move up. Form up. Awaiting orders. Right. Also, copy. you guys, please don't do that. I copy. And I think yes, I'm going to make you group 2 yes, versus group 1. Group 1 is normal infantry, Got so it. move out. And Coming then our group out. 2 Heading is out. our anti-vehicle infantry. Yes. Yeah. I'm here, sir. Ready. Hello? Hello? Oh, you got to be kidding me. In. No. Alright, okay, pause. I can't believe I just Ready did that. Roll. I feel infinitely stupid. And then where is the flamethrowers? You guys are... No, you're heavy. You guys are flamethrowers. Thank you. You guys are additional. Group one. Now group two. Join up with them. Yes, sir. And please get all of them. Alright, now move out. All right, let's get our tanks together. You're gonna yes, be group sir. three. Brigade standing by. Ready, sir. Group four. I want you guys Ready. to also start meeting up because you guys are gonna be Ready. slow as all the hell. Right Move away. up to help yes. give them cover. Also, these guys fall into formation way better than base game. I think. I don't know if that's true, but these guys just fall into perfect Ready. formation, and it's awesome. Move this way. Out, Move this sir. way. We know generally where they are. What are we shooting at? Nothing. We're shooting at civilians. Uh, get an anti-tank. Group 3. Move out. Group 4. Kind of go after these guys. Group 2. Start. Start your barrage, your heavy weaponries. You guys do switch to Fletch Fletch's anti-vehicle. Yeah, I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> for the Alliance. Let's actually save that for... Yeah, focus fire on this. What just happened? I tried to take a screenshot and I... Alright, there's a good possibility I accidentally switched everything to airplane mode and then could no longer hear everything. But that's just hearsay. I will I will say I have done nothing. I take no responsibility. Let's move out. Let's go. Move out. Get ready to attack this, which is anti-vehicle. 
group four, I actually want you to switch your fire over to here. Weapons ready. Report ATPD already. Get up to here. Yes, Be on. ready for anything. Yes, sir. For the yes, okay, group two. Human civilians don't really care. Ready. Group one, move out to engage. Yes. Group three, please move up. Group four. I want group three to become group four. And then you guys to be group three. It's because I'm gonna use you more often. Moving to target. Charge here, sir. Ready. Continue to just engage in these guys. Oh, the flamethrower troops. I forgot I had those in here. Those are good. Okay, move out to here, please. In. They are right here. Independent forces are here. Over there. And I know this because they they took this. Seems like just maybe human civilization. I don't know. Awaiting orders. ATPD reporting. I'm gonna let you take care of this. Are you anti-infantry? I don't really care about you. Target will be eliminated. Start destroying this. Destroy this. Ready to roll. There they All right, are. group two, group one, move out. Group right. one, focus fire. All right, man. Get Take down. Group two, I need you to be in range of this, please. Also, crouch down. I actually want you to be prepared to go into here. And I am going to get into range. Okay, you are in range. Please tell me you guys are moved up and are close enough. You are nowhere near enough to do the effective. Continue to engage. Group 1. Use your flamethrowers. Do your best. Group 4. How you holding? Kind of crappy. Why don't you focus fire on this? Because this is the only thing that can actually do proper damage to you. As it is a blaster cannon versus just a blaster. I need to turn you guys a little bit more down than that. That's getting a little loud. There we go. Okay. Oh, interesting. Let us use this opportunity to hot drop you in. I'm hoping, okay, everybody start going after this. I'm hoping that this gets attacked. Do this again. Boom, perfect. Okay, group three, include this now. And everybody move out. Group one, please destroy this. Group Attack this, please. And... Missiles incoming. Okay. Oof. Getting a little stressful. This is their troops. Attack, attack, attack. All, repeat, all units attack. You still haven't destroyed... Ah, whatever. I don't care. This is the main battle. Right here. And... The gun? Question mark? Group one, get out under cover, and move out to attack. Attack this, two, where are they? Don't know, okay, we need to move out, so group one, move out, move out, everybody get it over here. Alright, how are you guys holding up? Still unable to destroy a single anti-infantry, and you have actually been destroyed. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop a bombing run on this, just because I want this... this second mission objective, because I don't know... I forget, they, they should give you, like, additional, if I remember correctly, additional... credits. Call on a bombing run. Ooh, it's skip rays. Forgot about that. Plus, this will give us a good idea of what they have. Because this gives us a decent field of view. Uh-oh. 
Oh, I know something that they have. And I know where it is. Damn. Oh, we are engaged with something. Oh, I forgot about you, honestly. Group two, engage. Yeah, I don't know what you expecting you were going to be able to do against things designed to take you out. Group three, move out. Get to here. I'm just going to send you guys down this way to assist. Group one. Just continue to move forward. Group two, continue to move forward. Group three, you are here in an assistatory role. Be ready for anything. Okay, group one. Group two, I want you to focus on this. Chuck everything you got. Okay, perfect. Start dealing damage to those. Begin to deal damage to those. Focus on the defense troops, because that is the things that they paid for. I want to be able to destroy this thing. Okay, just destroy this really quick. Just cuz... Okay. I wonder, can you see what's going on over there? Kind of. You can see just smoke and stuff rising, which is cool in its own right. Group 1. Continue to move forward. Group 2. Continue to move forward. Group 3. Move up as well. Group 1. Group 2. Begin to focus all firepower on this. Take a breather. Where's their last unit? They have to have a unit here somewhere. It's right here. Where is it exactly? Oh, it's it's already getting chewed up, whatever it was. It's right here. Okay. Attack the target. And... We are victorious? Yeah! Oh my god, we actually destroyed that. We legitimately destroyed them at the exact same time, so we got all the planetary bonuses. I wonder how much that actually gives us. We lost the flame troopers. That's sad. Oh well, they served their purpose well. Hello, lag. It like freezes up every time we finish a battle. It's just trying to load in the massive 190 planet map. And Telos is now ours. Perfection. Go, oh, stop it. Get a corporate sector authority base. We do not have enough for anything else. I don't think we're building any other ships. We're building a taxation office here. You are building a... Pair of droidicas, which is always just good to have in anything. Having droidicas is a just droidicas are an awesome ship <laughs> or a unit, not ship. They're not a ship. Okay. So now we need. I'm actually gonna cancel that because this thing is actually better. Because if we can get this thing up, then we can take this fleet and leave and just rely on this for ground stuff. You're done with that, so we're making 140 on you. Can you build anything else? You cannot. So you know what we're going to end up doing? Let's increase its income by putting one of these. Uh, and I increase the total of income by first by negative 100%. Right, deliver plant will increase the number. Is that plus or minus 100? I don't understand it. What was that? Oh, that was Dordicus coming off the line. Okay. We can build some more stuff. Honestly, I'm gonna save my money instead of just spending it. Hello? Was that here? I just. It just happened. Did. Oh, I was about to say. For a second, I thought they blew up our Venator. I was about to say, they can do that? Since when? <laughs> 
This making it all symmetrical because I'm obsessed like that. Okay, so you're making this much money. You have 41 of these in the air. Can I build two of those? I think I can, can't I? The build limit is two, so I can put another one on here, which will boost our income even more. That's big. Uh, I don't have any to bin gas refineries I'm sitting on, do I? No. No, Telus might actually do to bin gas refineries, can't it? No, I can't. That would be Corban question mark? No. Which is, by the way, our next target is going to be Corban. And then we're going to wipe out the Black Sun presence here. Which then will mean we'll be fighting directly with the rebels. Funny enough, we're not even going to be facing really the Empire, which is what you really consider as your enemies, at least normal. But we're more of a pain for the rebels than we are anything else. Hmm, I just had an idea. What if I became a really big problem? Because this is a relatively strong fleet. What if I became a really big pro- No, that's probably a stupid idea. I was going to say, what if I became a problem for the rebels immediately and attacked this sector? But I feel like expanding this way will be better for us in the long run, because we'll be expanding our fronts less. Alright. Pause. Once it's done, I'm going to attack Korriban. Also... Unit in production. Get one of these off the line. Is this actually cheaper to build it here? No, it isn't. What are our capital ships? We should really look through and just see what all of our capital ships are. We have the ability to create... The Liberator Cruiser. Uh, that's a Marauder. Ooh, a Magnastar. That's good. Excuse that, that was a car going by. A Magnastar Battleship. That's good. Um, Invincible class. I consider Victories to be capital ships, even though they're considered cruisers. Venators and a Taggle Battle Commander. A battle Cruiser. Plus whatever hero units we can create, which are Yurik Tagi. And you, I don't, I'm not going to attempt your name, and you, you're gone too. Also, it was brought to my attention, I've completely forgotten about Hellfire Droids. Yeah, I should make some of these. Because those are really good, because they have rocket launchers. I can't actually see what their weapons consist of. Fire weapons, activate rocket launchers. Now, bringing product and sold to independent forces in the CSA. Yeah. Overall, really good. What do you do? CSA officer, what are you? Ground commander. Wait, do you give... Yeah, you give us birds, don't you? You're our version of a commander. Yeah, you're just a ground commander. Okay. You're considered, I believe, minor hero. Like, everybody who shows up here is considered major heroes. And then any hero that you can build, like, a, say, an officer or something like that, is considered just minor heroes. And... First line of defense is active. So we're gonna move... to you... immediately. We're not gonna have time to wait for this, so we'll have to join our fleet in the next battle. I actually don't know what I'm getting into here. I realized I did not send something down here to check out Korriban. But oh well. Well, we'll get into some problems, hopefully. <laughs> Make this campaign a bit interesting. Did I, did I put something down? No, I gotta put something down here. Also, everybody's teching up. That's worrying. Everybody's gonna be getting some good tech. That's one thing I don't really have to worry about is tech, but it's kind of nice to worry about tech. Because I'm just hoping there's enough interesting battles to kind of keep this campaign fresh and going. Otherwise, I could see it burning out relatively quickly because we, we really don't have a goal. Except just destroy everything. <laughs> Which is a fairly good goal, to be honest. But, like, there's no drive to, like, oh, let's get to Tech 2 or Tech 3 so we can get new cooler ships. It's kind of like we already have access to all the cool ships. But the dev is working on 
the next update is going to include missions and uh, missions and I think heroes they mentioned I don't don't quote me on that I might be forgetting entirely but I know missions are a part of it missions and tech sorry I'm an idiot <laughs> you know the whole thing I was just talking about yes, come on, Moving to go move up to here how big is this area here? Is this going to be enough? Yeah, that's... Mm. Let's pill our forces here. Get up to here. It is dark map. Either that or just have my brightness down for some reason. Which, yep, I do. My brightness is all the way turned down for some random reason. Just this thing. Look at it. Go! Look at it! Go! It's an awesome ship. Let us flank you by this. Bring you out here. Still a really dark map, don't get me wrong. Once this is turned out completely around, I'm going to just... Stop you moving entirely. And real backline, we're just going to put you guys back here because you don't need to be up close. Along with you, which will be actually our first version. And we need to bring out some proper... Never mind, we can bring out two. <laughs> How's this fleet looking now? Let's get up closer. That's a good looking fleet. That's a good looking fleet. Okay. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot that you, uh, you give us stuff. Alright, now we wait. It's a waiting game. Let's consolidate all of our forces. You guys will be our group one, because you're kind of crappy. Move out to here. Our heavier fighters, our arcs, will be our group twos. And whatever fighters we have here. Group three, kind of move back a bit. We are already shooting at them. With... Oh, light never... The sounds of them hitting, damn! Oh, that's so cool. Also, we're just kind of wrecking this dude before he even gets into range. Poor dude. Poor dude. Oh my god. He's not even going to reach us. He's legitimately not even gonna reach us before he just gets kind of demolished. God damn! We're just kind of demolishing this poor dude. Also, get wrecked, nerd. Also, fall back, all fighters. I do not want you getting engaged until I give you the all go all clear. Which means this guy's dead because he still has built-in heavy. Heavy point defense. Kind of move out, move out. Let us pause here. Tie interceptor here. Group one and group two. Add you back in. Move out this way. And destroyed. Now move in. Move in. It's just fighters at this point, I think. I don't even know what. What are we shooting at? I can't even see it. I would. What are we? Oh, it's these guys. Oh yeah, I see him now. I see him just if I move the camera around. It's just so it's such a dark map. I'm actually gonna force my way through here with these guys. Don't automatically do that, but we are gonna do it once we get past them. Also group one, engage, engage. Do not let them through. That's destroyed. One more, I assume. Just look at what we're firing at. Right here. Right here. Okay, got him. Got him. All weapons lock on. All fighters move out to engage, or at least the ones that are designed to do so. 
We got some range on us, too. We got shooting all those assaults, but we're missing terribly because we suck. Oh no, there's just multiple ones. Or do we actually just suck? I think we just suck. Let's get a good view of you guys going in. Beam weapons is kind of tearing this dude apart, and he's destroyed automatically. We're still shooting at something back here. Oh, here it is. And we are victorious. Hell yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. There's just a blue jay just going ham next to me. And that was a decent battle. We didn't lose anything. We kind of destroyed most of the capital ships before they even got close enough to even shoot at us, pretty much. The Neutron Star Cruiser got there because he has, I think, two or one long-range light turbo laser, but nothing that could even do anything to us. This is a solid fleet. <laughs> a lot of long-range firepower and a decent amount of fires. This is a really decent fleet, honestly. It's still weaker than most fleets, and I don't think it could go up against an Imperial fleet, at least not yet, but it's a decent one. Anyway, I'm gonna leave that one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. For the next kind of content, please like and subscribe. If you want to see more content like mine, go check out my brother and my cousin's channel. All links will be in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!